Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. There's a lot of negativity and frustration and anxiety in the world right now, but I like to look on the bright side of things. And so here's something that you can enjoy while being in the midst of all of this weirdness in the world. So as we all know, masking is when we hide our autistic traits to be accepted uh, due to pressure, anxiety of being excluded or overlooked because people don't understand what's going on with us. But right now, we don't have to be around all of that, and so we can begin to unmask. So I wanted to talk about ways to unmask. The first one is we suppress stimming. So when I'm sure everybody knows in social situations that sometime, sometimes you just have to like suppress your stimming. Sometimes it's scary to stim because people are look at us weird. Uh, sometimes it, it just, <laughs> we get in the way. I'm like, I love going like this, but I can't do that in the middle of work because I'm going to hit somebody. Um, so while you are at home, social, uh, social distancing, um, not in big social situations around, people, around a lot of people, just find ways that you enjoy stimming and just start to do that. And the more that you start doing it normally, then the more you'll get used to it and you'll just be, uh, it'll be a lot easier to start getting lost in it like I'm doing now. Another way that we mask is being social to the point of exhaustion. You do not have to overcommit yourself to every single social situation. Even if you feel like people are pressuring you to go and do all these things, you don't have to. Now we are in a circumstance where nobody is doing that. Start to look at how healthy you feel when you do certain social media or talking on the phone or talking to people and see indicators that you are being socially exhausted. So then when we get back to real life, I don't know, life after Corona, back to your job, back to school, back to doing everything that you normally do, then you'll begin to see where you have been pushing yourself in social situations. And now you've been seeing all these triggers that you realize is leading up to being completely drained. So now you can go about that in a healthy way and you'll know when you need to stop. The next one is kind of similar, but not just social situations, but pushing yourself past what's emotionally healthy. Whether it be social situations or things that you have to do or things that people ask of you. Now that we are socially isolating, distancing. I keep calling it social isolating, I don't know why. But now that we're social distancing, we have different stuff that we have to do. And so this is a good time for you to see what you are pushing yourself past your limits being able to do. Not that you need to keep going and going and figure out when it is that you finally crash, but going until you feel the indicators that you are going to crash, and then stopping to prevent that from happening. And so for me, I realize that when I'm on the computer and I start getting frustrated with it, I just need to stop and step back if it's freezing up or if like I'm not understanding what I'm doing, I just need to step back or else my mom will come over and like to help me and I'll freak out and I'll yell at her and be like, I can't do it, I hate this thing. So that's just a small example. Um, but as soon as you start to hit the little point where you're like feeling your emotions come up, and you're like, I need to stop this or else I'm just going to explode. Another way that we mask is putting on personas. Uh, I have my customer service persona where I look you in the eye and be like, hi, how are you? What can I get for you? You know, and normally I don't feel like talking to people. <laughs> so that's a mask. So while you are social distancing, while you are not as around as many people as you normally would be, start to look at what you're doing while you're alone that is masking without realizing it. I was masking without even realizing it when no one else was around. So when you start to realize that you're doing that, then that is going to exhaust you and bring out stress in your life where you're not gonna realize where it's coming from. So if you start to look at things that you're doing that are masking in a situation where you do not need to be masking, then you will feel a lot less stressed once you start to let that thing go. And another way that we mask is suppressing parts of ourself because other people wouldn't be able to handle it. 
other people think we're weird. We have anxiety about what people are thinking. We don't know. Now that we are in a situation where nobody's really thinking about what anyone is looking like when they move a certain way, like everyone's focused on different things, everyone's priorities have shifted. Nobody really cares what you're looking like and what your facial expressions are doing and stuff like that, as long as you're staying six feet away from them. So start to look at what ways you have suppressed your personality and figure out if you want to be suppressing them anymore. Then just start to let go of that and just act like you because the world needs more of us acting like us and not acting like neurotypicals. And that way we can continue to foster and create a community of authenticity and true friendship. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everybody stay safe, stay clean, wash your hands. Bye.